Good morning, my Protecting J family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to listening to me rambling. Even though, out of all my ramblings, there's always something for you to learn. And all my ramblings so far has been proven to be right. I've been rambling for about a year now about this white guy because something about him just don't look right don't sound right don't appear right he came on the scene and his introduction to us was rich long time and a comfy look nothing them boy are they over there so and the, 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 the thinking was what is this but as it is for all white people, they don't have any shame when they're dealing with black people. They don't think that we are equal humans. In America, in the history of slavery, black people was referred to as one third of a man or less than one third of a man. That's how white people see black people. So... When I considered and I thought about it, I didn't expect anything better from him. Now you're looking at your screen. If you're not, please look at your screen. You can see Mark Golding meet with, meeting with the council of churches, meeting with the pastors, because that's what they do. That's what white people do. That's what PMP does. They meet up with different groups that control large gatherings. And they infiltrate them. Some of them, they pay off. But the people who follow them don't know. They cut secret deal with them that only the few benefit. And the masses are being led down a road. Sometimes they don't know where the pastor are going. Or union leaders or whatever it is. And they don't know why they're going. But because they lead them, they follow. And it's no different for the churches. The churches have been compromised. And I remember earlier this year, a few months back, when Mark Golding was meeting with the pastors, I made sure that I had cropped these pictures. Because that's the next thing. He took, he took pictures of all meetings. And he takes these pictures so that people can see that these groups are with him and so he met with them nothing is wrong with that because if you're looking to be a leader of this country then you must meet with the different groupings that influence our culture in our society so not no wrong with that but everybody seemed happy usually for some black people, this is how they are when they go in the presence of a white man. Especially pastors. Because they tell them that their God is white. Now by now, you must have figured that I'll be commenting on the pastor who dropped down. While officiating over the funeral service of Miss Norma Creary. Now, in this picture, which is a wider frame, I do not know if this is Pastor Drop Down. But from sideways, it really do look like him. It really does look like him. And a lot of people who follow these pastors don't know, you know these people sell them souls for a dollar, you know. Yeah, man, don't think, say, it's only on church day. They come and the entire three, four hour service is about money. Because Jesus wants money. They have other deals outside of the church because they love money. Easy money, free money. Especially they're in positions of influence. So I need somebody to tell me. You know, I only have a few pictures. And I don't have no front view of this grey-bearded, grey-eared 
gray head and gray bearded person. But he looked just like Pastor Dropdown, who dropped down over the pulpit of Ten Cosandro. So somebody please tell me. Just look on the arrow. Look on the somebody side sideway. Anybody who got in church must know who. So no comment in the comment section and let me know. Now after a long discussion, what is it that they agree to that they must shake on? Eh? That is Pastor Grey Head and Grey Beard again. It seemed to be Pastor Drop Down. It looked like him. Me not sure. Follow the arrow. Right there so. Yeah man. He want to look like a pastor drop down. But what did they agree to? They were shaking hands. What? Because you see these people in the pulpit cannot be trusted enough. Because only church people can stay the thing say. Them no pick a side. And the side where them pick. Is a side. We have some benefit to them. And since Mark Golden meet up with them, look out for them people here in charge of all of the church them in Jamaica. Well, not all, because there are some churches when I join up with them council or them conference or them confederation. But these people we do anything just to the white man money. Anyway, when you take in the video with Pastor Drop Down and tell me. If Uno agree that Pastor Drop Down should have gone a woman funeral when she died in ashes to ashes and dust to dust and lay her to rest in a peace. Go and follow Mark Golden and tell lie on the Prime Minister. Because even in the church it reach and the pastor don't even know what he talk about. Hmm? Peter got everyone go buck angel then go hell. Politician gone with him then politician gone back to hell. What that day? A politician rob money. Hmm? More, I want to listen to your video. All who don't see it yet, see it here. Walking down the street one day is tragically hit by a truck and dies. His soul arrives in heaven and is met by Saint Peter. Before you settle in, it seems there's a problem. We seldom see high officials around here. We are not sure what to do with you. No problem. Just let me in, says the man. Well, I would like to, but I have my orders from higher up. What we will do is to have you spend one day in hell and one in heaven. Then you can choose where you spend eternity. Really? I have made up my mind. I want to be in heaven, says the MP. I am sorry, but we have our rules. And with that, Peter escorts him to the elevator, and he goes down and down and down to hell. The doors open. He finds himself in the middle of a green golf course. In the distance is a clubhouse, and standing in front of it are all his friends and other politicians who had worked with him. Everyone is happy and they need dresses. They run to greet him, shake his hand, and they reminisce about the good times they had getting rich at the expense of the people. They play a friendly game of golf, and then dine on lobster, caviar, and champagne. Also present is the devil. He's a very friendly and nice guy. It was a good time dancing and telling jokes. They are all having such a good time that before he rises, it's time to go. Everyone gives him a hearty farewell and wave while the elevator rises. The elevator goes up and up and the door reopens in heaven, where St. Peter is waiting for him. Now it's time to visit heaven. So 24 hours pass with the MP, joining a group of contented souls, move from cloud to cloud, playing the harp and singing. I guess that's what they do in heaven. They have a good time. And before he realizes the 24 hours have gone by and St. Peter returns. Well then, you have spent a day in hell and a day in heaven. Now choose your eternity. 
the MP reflects for a minute. Then he answers. Well, I would never have said it before. I mean, heaven has been good and delightful, but I think I would be better off in hell. So St. Peter escorts him to the elevator and he goes down and down to hell. The doors of the elevator open and is in the middle of a barren land, covered with waste and garbage. He sees his friends dressed in rags, picking up thrash and putting them in, a black, in black bags as more trash falls from above. The devil comes over to him and puts his arm around his shoulder. I do not understand, stammers the MP. Yesterday I was here, and there was a golf course and a clubhouse, and we ate lobster and caviar and drank champagne and danced and had a great time. Now there's just a wasteland and my friends look miserable. What happened? The devil looks at him, smiles and says, yesterday we were campaigning. <laughs> Today you voted. <laughs> friends, I pray that we will make the right choice. To recognize that Jesus is a good shepherd of our souls. And each of us, in whatever sphere of life we are, we are called to display shepherding, caring qualities so that men and women can see the good work that we do and bring honor and glory to our Father. So that when we will have passed through this life, our lives will be celebrated as we are now celebrating Norma's life. So, may we embrace the reality of being known and loved by the shepherd, responding to his sacrificial love with lives marked by trust, obedience, and a deepening intimacy with one who knows us completely. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Archdeacon Cunningham. I hope you have recovered from your spiritual misadventure in St. Mary, fully recovered. I would like to register on behalf of the entire Creary family our disgust at the manner in which you used the pulpit at my mother's funeral, a woman of extreme charity and dignity who operated in a very Christian-like way where you used her pulpit to engage in your own personal, private, political agenda. We view this with abhorrence and complete and total displeasure. It is our belief that if your political values far supersede your Christian beliefs, you should have declined to officiate at. If you know how to use Microsoft service, what you did we find reprehensible. You attempted to use the homily, which should be ded dedicated to the memory of a great Jamaican woman who happens to be a strong supporter of the Labour Party, you use it as an opportunity to attack the Prime Minister who travelled 27 hours out of total respect, 27 hours after 27 hours of flying, he found it himself at the church, along with other politicians from both sides of the aisle.
and you chose to use it as an opportunity to attack him. I hope that you understand now that St. Mary is not an easy place. We are very spiritual people. And I can assure you that when you said that amen, my mother decided, I am certain of it, that she was not going to allow that disrespect to stand. And clearly, the good Lord who you profess to support clearly agreed. You know, and I hope, sir, that many people who stay on the pulpit, you all like to preach and teach and act like you are all holier than thou. I hope this occurrence will be a lesson to you that as a man of God, preach the word of God, leave your own political views out of it. Disrespect is not Christian. Being a political hack is not Christian. There is a thing called time and place. And that, what you did there, was not the time and place. But it was Miss Norma's time and place. And I am sure that she is satisfied with the outcome. All the best to you, sir. And may this serve to make you and many others, including myself, more understanding of the ways of working of the Lord. I hope it will be a lesson not just to you, but to many others who would seek to do what you did. And I say this, whether the pastor is JLP or PNP, leave the politics of the So, there you have it. After pass, I drop down, get boxed down by Miss Nama. The family was so disgusted. And that goes to show you. These people meet up with the white man and the white man ring them up. You know them little tie where you wind up and you let it go? And when you let it go, you just a canter around the place. The white man have no class and we all see that to him operate in a society. Him? If him turn Prime Minister of Jamaica, everybody turn them back upon Jamaica. At a time when Jamaica is rising, we are going right back down. And so him capture them all slavery and wind them up and let them go out upon way. And then just a canter. How the backside you gonna some of the funeral? Gonna cause Prime Minister. Huh? Gonna meddle. In a things when I nothing to do with the dead woman. But I guess since Mark Golden catch him and wind him up, I'm first real exposure to so much politician, especially the Prime Minister. Cause outside of this funeral, who knows? Him couldn't be exposed to him. But little did he know that he would be making himself a fool. Disrespecting him own self and his family if him have one. Cause some of them pass away when you see a wear frock. Then an a woman. And Miss Nama did the right thing, box down in box cover. But here's her son, Dan Creary. Well it sounds like Dan. Responding and making people know. Them never please at that. Primes are just come from India. They in transit for 27 hours and come pay respect to the woman. You know, see all PMPI funeral, if you know, say the woman a real deal, real general. And pastor can chat shit. But there's another pastor I want to hear. Yeah, there's another video. And the pastor, yeah? The pastor, yeah, just talk it as it is, you know. And as, you know, them old country church. Him name Prophet. <laughs> I wonder where my prophesy, but him just talk it as it is. The same pastor them have one Bible they say respect your leaders of your country. But pastor drop down, our box down, our thump down. For sure you say 
Them just depend on the pulpit to take advantage of people. Not even the, whole, the, the thing where them swear for follow, them not follow. Time and place for everything. Wait till PMP have a community meeting in St. Mary. You go up on the platform, go cost the Prime Minister. Since you don't like Prime Minister, because you collect money every day in a church and you're not rich like him. Eh? Everyone should see by now because it happened right in front of you. And by seeing, everyone should know by now that the attempt is to discredit the leader of the country, the leader of the party, the JLP. The attempt is to make Uno hate him. But nobody can tell you say him do nothing. Nobody can tell you say him do nothing. There's a challenge out now for a couple million dollars. The first person who can present in a video message the evidence that says the Prime Minister do something wrong. Nobody can do that because there was nothing wrong. And these people who are Mark Golden's friends, them sure all sort of nastiness out there to confuse you to believe that something wrong was done. It's just for you confuse. You're going to tell me, say, if Prime Minister did do something wrong, Look how much politician get locked up in a Jamaica before. You gotta tell me, say, he probably do something wrong. And then lock him up. Or they couldn't say it. Nowhere in the last report, we have him named plaster all over it, said that he did something wrong. Listen to the pastor, yeah. In a simple terms, I broke it down for you. Raise MP pay and raise him pay to him to 300%? Yes, sir. 300%. And before the MP, them turn up with him and say, this is how it's going to happen. See them running the corner. <laughs> you know how hard they work. They can get strokes on the road. They can get strokes on the job because those type of job is pressuring. They look out 900 and 1,000 get promoted. They will be spinning back in their constituency. They don't make the money unless they get some contracts. When you're a team, the team nothing wrong. No. You defend the team, defend the Prime Minister. Yeah. Turn up with him, you're MP. Yeah. You talk about the, the man have 28, uh, 20, 28 account. He should have 30 account. Yeah. We don't want a poor Prime Minister in the country. Yeah. The man must multi time rich. Yeah. If I'm me like the Prime Minister, me alone go cabinet and make MP them go sit down. Yeah. Me alone walk in the cabinet and point finger, move that, fix that, and pull on that. Yeah. Until me can see, because you have some, you have some JLP in a PMP seat, you know? yeah. and you have some PMP in a JLP seat. Yeah. Mr. Holness, you must open your eyes and find them. Everybody with you. No. And everybody gonna stand with you. No. 28 account is not enough for a Prime Minister. You have businessman in Jamaica have 20 billion dollars in them account. Who if you reach me, Prime Minister? You're crazy? Prime Minister should have 50 account. Impatient raise five hundred percent. You know the bird man careful country? Yeah. Road fix. Do not go up. Him can't please the whole country. No. At the same time. No. It takes time. Yeah. Come to the man. Prophet Rock can't please the whole church. No. Never. Yeah. You give 300 people back to school, you yeah. have a tap, and you kill me, you end up poor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is the idea of 
me think I'm done give back to school. I'm look, me say, back to school still I come. I mean, September gone a long time. I just, at Christmas I come, and people still come to me, so they don't get back yet. They don't get back yet. They don't get shoes yet. Me have to try over church early and run before they come. They, they, they hide. want no poor Prime Minister in Jamaica. The Prime Minister must be the richest man in Jamaica. Yeah. That about. Now we defend him to a T. Yeah. Anyone come against him, what happened to them cause it? True. Because power is in shadows. Hey. Back to Bible now. Me 